guys, today I'll take you through my experience doing the Molchanovs Wave 2 with Freediving Central here at the Central Coast. Yesterday we had our full day, we did theory in the morning, going through equalisation theory, safety, static breath hold requirements of 2 minutes 30, no fins requirements and the bi fins requirements in the pool which was 55 metres. Today we're down at Terrigal going for our boat dives and we've got to get 24 metres. I got to use a nose clip for the first time here, which lets your face get wet and triggers a much stronger dive reflex. Here's Nathan finishing off his static. The aim for the course is to prepare you to train and dive safely. So we did a lot of buddying for each other. Here I'm Arthur's buddy for one of his statics. Making sure he doesn't float around the pool and getting a signal every minute from him to make sure that he's okay. Can I get a signal? After the statics, we warmed up with the dynamic dives. Doesn't feel nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the most important thing is to like listen to your body. Yeah. Um, and tell it when uh, your technique stayed really nice the whole way. So Great. That's all you're possible. Cool. Thanks. Just did my first dynamic swim, got to about 60 metres, so passed the requirements. Arthur did this huge 100 metre swim. Then we had to do 35 metres, no fins. My technique was garbage, so I ended up going slowly, focusing on my technique, and didn't get the 35 meters until Dan said, all right, Felix, time to do the 35 meters so we can move on. We ticked off all our pull requirements, and Dan showed us some really fun and not painful training exercises. This is an exhale crawl. We focused on relaxation and just tried to move slowly. Then we did crawls with a full breath and it felt so much better. Here we're doing under overs, 15 meters underwater, 15 meters of freestyle for 150 meters. This one was so hard. I felt like I couldn't get enough oxygen in and CO2 out. Check out how heavily I'm breathing here. Okay, day two. It was time to get in the ocean for our two boat dives. The whole group were pretty confident divers, so we started doing some warm-up hangs at 12 meters. I always find these really weird because you just hang out at the bottom of the line, staring into nothing for about 20 seconds before coming back up. It's a great way to get used to the pressure though. It 
about here where I started having equalization problems, which Evan, our instructor, started trying to sort out for me. What happened? What did it feel like? Uh, I just found it not equalizing. Yeah? One of them, was it one of them or both yeah, of them? Yeah, the right side. The right side. Yeah, which is usually my good side. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. it was just bubble. Okay, what about now if you're on the circle? That's fine, yeah. Fine? Yeah, it's really yeah. fine. Cool, cool. So 15 looks super comfortable for all of you guys. So you guys were happy to drop to 20? Yeah? Sweet. Let's do it. At this point, I was starting to feel like I wasn't keeping up. I'd only been to 12 meters because I'd had some partially blocked sinuses and everyone else was starting to cruise down to 20 meters. all the way before that. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was completely? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe, not, like, maybe. not like a partial equalizer. No, it was good. Yeah. It could be some air in your hood, potentially. Yeah. So uh, you can try to yeah. pour Flush all your before. air yeah. water. Um, yeah. Equalize I super, super often forgot. as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was good though. Look, you're doing your you're doing all the right precautionary steps, you know, yeah. making it really slow, really feeling out your ears. That's perfect. That's exactly yeah. what you want to be like. I feel sick. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh no. <laughs> I don't think it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Did you see all the chunks oh, fly right, past the right. rope? <laughs> that was nasty. Yeah. Back on land, Dan gave me a bottle of decongestion spray, and after about an hour, my sinuses were pretty clear. Shark over here. Yeah? 20 meters away. It's just sunny in the shop. I don't know what type of shark it was. How about this? You guys get in and I'll just keep doing laps around you. Sounds safe to me. Yeah. So at this point, heading for our second boat dive, I was so scared I'd fail the course. I was just in my own head with all these negative thoughts that my sinuses wouldn't make it. We did a few dives buddying each other, which I hadn't done before, so this was really good to learn. When you, uh, when you take your time, yeah. come up, try and come up almost like, just below them. Okay, yeah. yeah. After buddying dives to 20 meters and meeting each other at 10 meters, we dropped the line down to 25. I was still pretty worried about my sinuses at this point, and on the way down was just in full survival mode, just trying to get down to the bottom. It's the worst way to dive, but I made it down and then Dan met me at 10 meters. Once we all ticked off the 24 meter dives, it was time to rescue Dan from 15 meters. I thought this was gonna be easy because on the level one course at 10 meters, we were both neutrally or positively buoyant, but at 15 meters, we were both starting to sink when I grabbed him. The first few kicks were so hard and it felt like we weren't moving at all. My legs were stuffed by the end. Wake up, Dan. You're on the surface, Dan. Wake up. Right. What would you do after 15 to 20 seconds? I didn't wake up. Uh, call the boat over and start recovery breaths. Recovery breaths, right? Yep. <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> yeah, my legs feel great. Good. These heavy kick hard at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was feeling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I looked up and was like, oh my god, are we moving? <laughs> yeah, it's what happens, you know? And this is why it's so important yeah. that people are like, weighted correctly. <laughs> just finished the course. I got a bunch of new PBs, but I was battling to get down to 24 meters. I had some pretty bad sinus issues on our first boat dive of the day. On our warm-up dives, I was cruising down to 10 to 12 meters, hanging out and then coming up. But I think I got some air stuck in my wetty or something, and then I couldn't get past seven meters on one of the dives. So then we came in, chilled out for a bit, and then started hitting 20 and 24 meters. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like just down below. If you want to see more videos, click here to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out some more diving right now, check out these two videos right here. See you guys next time.